All right, now we're going to talk about the discriminant. The discriminant is part of the quadratic of, uh, formula, and there's a lot of things we can learn by doing the discriminant. Uh, the discriminant is the part that's underneath the square root right here. The discriminant can be found by just doing the math on b squared minus 4ac. And to find those, we use the standard form for all quadratics, a x squared plus b x plus c. All right, there's three different scenarios that we're going to get. We're going to get from this. All right. First of all, I do want to caution you. You don't use the square root on this. This is just b squared minus four ac. So if we do this and the total ends up greater than zero, all right? We do the math on b squared minus 4ac, and the total is greater than zero. That means it's got two roots, all right? Two roots, you should know, now look something like this. It crosses the x line twice, all right? So when the discriminant is greater than zero, you have two roots. All right. When you do the when you do the discriminant, you do the calculation on the discriminant discriminant and it equals 0. All right. That means that it's going to have one root. One root means that it's a parabola that reaches down and touches the x-axis one time. Right there on this one it touches at 3 0. So when you do b squared minus 4ac and it equals 0, you've got one root. All right, you've got one more, one more scenario now is when when the discriminant is less than 0. When the discriminant is less than 0, that means it's not making it all the way down to the x-axis, all right? All right, it will not go past the x-axis. What this means is you've got, it'll be stated two ways. You've got two complex roots, which is de deals with i's, all right? All right, or it's also considered, let's see, two co complex. I think actually for our purposes, I think it's gonna say two complex roots. All right, or it could say non-real roots. All right, so to recap, okay, we got three different scenarios where the discriminant is greater than zero. You've got two roots. Where it equals zero, it just touches the x-axis once, and you've got one root. And when it's less than zero, when it's negative, all right, I'll write that down here, negative. When it's negative, all right, that means it doesn't make it all the way down to the x-axis, and it's got two complex roots.